The league just came down hard on Miles Garrett. He suspended indefinitely and rightfully so. I think what he did last night was utterly ridiculous. He could have killed that man. He could have severely hurt Mason Rudolph. Now, Mason Rudolph is not innocent. He didn't get suspended either, but more action will come. More suspensions are going to be coming down. Ogan Joby, Brown's defensive player, he got suspended as well one game for knocking Mason Rudolph to the ground. And Marquise Pouncey for defending his quarterback, defending his teammate. That's what offensive linemen, that's what teammates do. He got suspended three games. I think his suspension was a little harsh. I think he should have got suspended at least one game max. For him to get three games, I think that's a bit much. He should be looked at as a hero. You're supposed to defend your teammate. You're supposed to defend your quarterback in a situation like that. Your quarterback literally just got cracked in the helmet. He just literally got cracked with a helmet in his skull. With all the CTE, with all the trauma that's going around in the NFL, you got all these players that's suing the NFL, that's taking legal action to get paid because they didn't know at the time the severe punishment it could take a toll on as you get older and you can have severe brain damage. With all that's going on, you cannot, in a situation like that, do something that stupid. I get it. He was in the heat of the moment. He's not thinking. Some people are making excuses saying he blacked out. Look, you cannot do that. But he did it. And he's going to pay for it. So not only is he going to be suspended indefinitely, meaning he's out for the rest of this year. If the Browns make a run and go to the playoffs, he's out for the playoffs. He could get an additional 10 games or or just games, period, next season, going into next year. He's going to have to talk to Roger Goodell, the commissioner of the NFL, and he's going to have to be reinstated into the NFL. So I don't think this indefinite suspension is going to be just for this year. He's going to get some games next year, too, probably an additional 10. All right? Marcus Spears, ESPN analyst, football analyst, former football player, he predicted he would get 16 games. He just might get that. The last six of this year, plus an additional 10 next year. Now, I agree with all these suspensions. I think Mason Rudolph should have got the game. He did try to rip his helmet off of Miles Garrett's head. It didn't happen. And what's to say Miles Garrett did get a neck injury or something? It didn't happen. But for Miles Garrett to do what he did, take a weapon, yes, the helmet as a weapon, and hit Mason Rudolph on the top of his head, he could have got knocked out or even worse, he could have died. He could have went into a coma. Anything severe of that nature, it would have been legal action. Let me know what you guys think about the suspensions and how the NFL came down on them. And also the Browns and Steelers organizations both got suspended, both got fined $250,000. Let me know in the comments below how you feel.